G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This video is a continuation of a series I've been making for our nurses looking at drug calculations. And what this one is looking at specifically is percentages used in drug calculations. Now, these percentages are usually used to show the concentration of a particular active ingredient in a drug. So what do I mean by that? That's where you have, say, something like this, 10%. And you'll see quite often WV written after it. Now, with this, I'm going to show you first off just what this means and then how we can use this to work out a few things, just various concentration-based questions uh, that you might that come across or, or, or things like that. Now, first off, what does this mean when you see this? This 10% WV is fairly simple as long as you break it down. 10% first off, you're probably well aware, 10% means 10 out of 100. Percentage is out of 100. The WV part tells us that we, you know, the, the, what the 10 and the 100 mean. Okay, what do I mean by this? You know, 10 watts out of 100 watts. The W stands for weight. The weight specifically here is in grams. This is 10 grams out of 100. This is where the V part comes in. The V stands for volume. The volume is given in mil. Okay, this is 10 grams per 100 mil. And that's pretty much what these mean. So say, for instance, if you had it, it was, uh, I'll give you a different one here. So say it was something that you had 3% WV, it would become 3 grams per 100 mil. And if this was 5% uh, WV of an active ingredient, it would become, you guessed it, 5 grams per 100 mil. This part stays the same, it's only this little bit up here that changes the amount of grams. Okay, and that's a concentration that we have here. And, you know, quite often, concent and you'll see concentrations are uh, this sort of format where we have grams per mil or milligrams per mil or milligrams per, per litre, but it's always in that, you know, where we're going weight per volume. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how we can uh, play around with this. First off, to work out a few things, but just what I'm going to show you is just another way of writing this or another way of, of working out the concentration, but not in grams per mil, per mil, which is a little bit cumbersome, you'll find. I'm going to show you how to work this out in terms of milligrams per mil. Okay, and this is a lot easier way of working with concentration because you can easily then convert things across and work things out, as you'll see. So first off, what does, say, 10%... 10% WV, what is that going to be? What is that going to be? This 10% of an active ingredient, what's that going to be in milligrams per mil? So first off, you're going to look at it and go, well, okay, this means 10 grams per hundred mil, which is equal to now milligrams is a thousand milligrams in a gram. So if I times 10 by a thousand, I'm going to have 10,000 milligrams per hundred mil. Okay, so the units are right, milligrams are right, and mils are right. And I can now cancel things out. So there's two zeros up here, and there's two zeros down there. And I am left with 100 milligrams per mil. And I'm going to show you just a little trick here, a little shortcut. If you want to easily go from this percentage here straight into milligrams per mil, if you want to, you know, you can easily do this grams per mil, if you want to, put it straight away into milligrams per mil, just times by 10. Okay, so 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So say, slightly differently, if it was 3%, and I wanted to know what it is in milligrams per mil, well, I just times it by 10, and it is 30 milligrams per mil. Okay, or another way you could think of it is 3 grams per 100 mil. Okay, so it's two ways you can do this. So, just to give you one more of those, so say I wanted to know what, uh, I'll go a harder one now, 0 0.5. Say the active ingredient was 0.5% WV, weight per volume. What's this in milligrams per mil? We times it by 10, 0.5 times 10, this would be 5 milligrams per mil of the active ingredient. Okay, so 
you're going to say, okay, what of it? It's sort of showing you halfway. But this now we can use to work out a whole bunch of things. So say, for instance, we had dextrose and it was 1%. Dextrose, 1% WV and 20 mil of this particular solution is given. And I want to know how much of the active ingredient is given. So say this was dextrose, 1%. 20 mil of the solutions given, how much actual dextrose is given? How do we work this out? The way we do this is as follows. Now the first thing I do is I change this into milligrams per mil. Okay, it's a nice universal sort of thing. So 1% WV is times 10. This is 10 milligrams per mil. And 20 mil is given. So there's 10 milligrams every mil. 20 mil is given, so I times this by 20 mil. It tells us that 200 milligrams of active ingredient is given. So that's why I had you changing those at the start, because it's a nice and easy way of doing this. Okay, what about we go through another one of these types of questions? So say we had 0.5% in concentration and 10 mil is given. How much of the active ingredient is given? So how do we work this out? Well, we're going to change this into milligrams per mil. 0 0.5 times 10 is 5 milligrams per mil. And then times 10 mil, because for each mil we're getting 5 milligrams. So 10 mil times 10 mil, we are given 50 milligrams of active ingredient. So the other type of question you might get with this is, say for instance, you had 12.5 grams of, of active ingredient, which is glucose. And this is in half a litre. And I want to know what the what is the percent WV. I want to know what that is. I want to change it back to the initial part. So how do we go about doing this? Well, that's fairly simple. You probably guess the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put this as a milligrams per mil. So, 12.5, in I'm going to put this in milligrams per mil first. And then instead of times in by 10, to get it back to the WV, I'm going to divide by 10. Yeah. So, what's this in milligrams per mil? How many milligrams in 12.5 grams? This is 12,500 milligrams. How many mils is this? This is 500 mil. So I've made sure the units are, this, are good. And now I can just divide through. So I'm going to get rid of zeros here. This zero, this zero, this zero, this zero. 125 divided by 5 is 25 milligrams per mil. And what's this as the active ingredient percentage here? Well, instead of timesing by 10, which we were using to get to this stage, from the to, for, you know this way, I'm going to be going backwards, so I'm going to divide by 10. This is 2.5 percent. Let's put a WV there just to be happy. All right. What about another question here? Say we have 1.6 grams of dextrose. It's in 200 mil, and I want to know. You can guess it. I want to know what the percent WV is. Yeah, I want to know what that is as a concentration percentage. So first off, I'm going to put this in milligrams per mil. So what is this in milligrams per mil? This is in grams, so I'm going to change it to milligrams. I'm going to times it by 1,000. This is 1,600 milligrams. This is already in mil. This is 200 mil. 1,600 divided by 200. This equals 8 milligrams per mil and then dividing it by 10 to get it back to this percentage this is 0 0.8 percent WV alright anyway hopefully you found that video uh, usable and well always happy to make more videos see you next time bye